Now before we continue, let me show you something cool. And whether I can actually pull this off or not is another question. Probably can't, but we'll give it a go. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's not very much damage at all. That's unfortunate. Of course, we can just run away. I was hoping you'd do more damage than that. We should come back later. Uh, he will stay there. He doesn't disappear. He just gets very sour and leaves. Um, we can come do him another time. Mainly when I have weapons that don't suck. Now, whether these poison upgrade will be any good or whether I've just ruined my best chance of doing it, I think we shall see. Oh, these guys suck so bad. Hmm. Reasonably effective. Yeah, now this is all, all good fun. It's these bloody guys again. Oh, wow. That went to me, Luke. If you can actually poison these guys, you can. Which is quite useful. Oh, they're both poisoned. Nice. This is the kind of thing you can do with the claws, so you can just you can just wait them out now, and they die. <laughs> useful on big baddies like that. Really useful. Oh yeah, that guy totally tries to kill the floor. What a dick. Don't let him. Be wary of fatty left, which isn't relevant to us because he's not here anymore. Although that guy there is a bit of a knob. Now, you can use a Pharos Lockstone here, I'm not going to right now, but what it does, it allows you to a secret passage which leads you up to a bonfire. Now that bonfire... What the... Really? You're coming down here? Oh man, you're a dick. <laughs> Go away, please. Uh, anyway, what I'm saying, what that does, it leads you up to a ladder which gives you to a bonfire as well as the Belfry Sol, but it locks you out in the sense you can't actually do anything. Um, you can't actually leave that bonfire to go anywhere else. Unless you have the cat ring, you can kind of aim carefully and make, it, make your way down. It's kind of a weird one. Uh, I may have to start using the other weapon for the boss, that's a bit irritating. There's a bit of a sneaky way to kill, kill all the guys here, I'll show you. So, get the nasty man to shoot an arrow, and <laughs> drop him into the lake, fire! Ooh! Yeah, there's another one over there, but we'll ignore him. I think that's all of them that we care about. Now, there is goodies up on the roof, which we can get. Oh, we should probably deal with that guy, who's... Ow! Wow, you're a dick! Alright, we'll just leave. You'll probably shoot another one, hopefully you'll miss. Please miss. Please miss. Whew. Or not. Alright. Mimic chest. Everyone loves mimics. Myself included. Oh, Jesus. Mimics suck, by the way. But we poison mimic. We, we let damage tick. Tick, 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 tick. Blech. Dead mimic. Mimics freak me the hell out. I hate them. Ugh. So, we've unlocked the dark armor, which is always useful. Oh crap, please don't shoot me. I'm just gonna drop. Can you see it from here? Probably not. Can't get good easier with fast. Faster! Faster! Ooh! Could've been nasty. We're almost at the next boss. It's actually not that far. It's just a bit tricky. There is a way of making this entire place easier too. I'm just hoping I can do it all in one go without buggering it up. Now, man, be wary of left. Actually, you get rating because that's incredibly useful because there is indeed a man up there. I'm also quite wary of him. Wait for him to drop. Can't you? It's fine. I'll do it myself. Ugh. Come on. Shouldn't have hit me. He dead. Doesn't matter how many um, Estus we really use on the way here. We should be fine. 
There is a route into this room from the ceiling, as you can see, but it, nothing I need to do right now. There are some goodies up there if you want to get them, but I'm not too worried personally. Now this guy, I have to do a bit of shenanigans again, basically, by poisoning him. I'm actually kind of liking this poisoning for the regular enemies. I may need a weapon for the bosses now though, which doesn't involve punching, which is a bit sad. But most of the bosses I'll actually need stuff for anyway. Whoop. Punch, punch. Dead. This makes this bit really much easier. Oh, also, there's another one of those guys around the corner, and you can use this guillotine to nab him. But it's really risky, in the sense it won't necessarily get him. I prefer to sort of lure him. If it drops on his head, then all, all is well in the world, I guess. But the amount of times this that guillotine actually killed me is really irritating. Oh, I suppose better put this back up. I need you, sir, to come over here. Tedious. Hopefully he doesn't try and splat me on the... I need to use this po poison builder to nab him. There we go. Right, we can leave him now. Oh, now you're following me through. Dick. Dead. Right. Last little bit before the bonfire. Then we got another boss, and then we're done with the Iron Keep. More or less. Find the evil second pursuer. Of course, you don't really want to bugger this bit up either, because it sucks, especially if you come all the way. And don't be enticed by goodies either, you can get them afterwards. Look. Bizarrely, like, completely out of the way, there is actually a bonfire up here. Eventually, if you kind of make your way slowly to stop. Snake Eater! <laughs> Can't fall off these ladders either, so easy peasy. Oh, right. Uno bonfire. Boink. And we can now turn off all of the fire in the place and get a really lovely view from outside. You can see where we've been. Very nice looking. Scary looking volcano lands. Kind of low res. Very pretty though. That's it. All the fire in the place is now turned off. And um, what I'm going to do is upgrade a couple of weapons, so do excuse me a second. Alright, for this boss we're going to go for the tried and true method of I need a shield, please. Whee! Uh, where's the ladder? Cool, so there's only one enemy between you and the boss, which is really quite useful. It's a shame he's such a dick kind of enemy, but eh. Which, actually, I may punch him, because it's a bit easier. It's one of these dudes. Punch, punch. Boop. Punch, punch. Boop. And punch, punch. So now he's poisoned. Whee! Now we can just put whatever we want on. I feel kind of sad for him. He tries so hard. And he dies. Blech. A lot of souls in those guys, too. Not bad. This is it. The outside. It looks kind of cool. I'll see if I can get you a good view of the place. I'm not sure being this close to lava would be good for the skin. I melt. I guess you can see what like remained of the entire place. It looks quite cool. That's where we were, the giant minotaur. There's the rest of it, sunken into the ground. I honestly think like the scenery and like the way everything looks and general locations are second to none in the Souls games. They're so cool looking. You really get a sense of there was a world here at some point. For the most part, anyway. Sometimes it just doesn't work, but whatever. Who's that? Is that one of ours? Mirror Jane. No. Right then, it's summoning time, so going back on Twitter, and I will be sorting out various men. So do excuse me a second. And women, possibly. Okay, I got my two again. I got Sir Rodrian and actually the second again, because he was the one here. I normally try and get different people in if I can, but this time, uh, like before, I've had it, there was no one else here. So, sorry for those who tried to get him and didn't, I guess the way his soul memory works could be a bit wonky. Right then. Let's go! Weird. I find this one of the more boring bosses in the game, but that's just me. So, I'll see what you guys think. I recognise you. 
You're the boss from Star Fox 64. You gotta shoot all the bits so you get don't run out of health. To us, that would be a bit more interesting. This guy looks really burly, but uh, well, not sure that lava would be good for you. Unless he's made out of lava. Not sure how this works. Either way, he starts all the way over there. He's quite cool. Now, we will kind of want to fight him left to right. It's a weird one. Like, we got a small platform to fight him on. Unless this goes terribly wrong. We kind of lure him into attacking like so. And then move. Of course, immediately getting splattered. What we do, we run down here. And quickly drink. What you can do is completely avoid the flames by sitting here. If you're a caster, again, this becomes like super duper easy. Oh, splat. It's a pretty easy fight anyway. Even if this lasts longer than like 30 seconds, which it rarely does. Oh dear, splat. Oh no, Sir Roderian! Sir Roderian has been defeated! Just me and you actually, are off the second. Oh, he's doing his Kamehameha again. He's out of the way of it. You slap his hand. Bad boy he is. No. If you've got a ghost here, the ghost will get mostly aggro like this, and you can just sit in the corner. Just chop him in the face, chop him in the face. Ow. Ugh. I flee. And drink. And he's dead. Yep. And that's it. Solo, I'll show, again, I'll show you the fight solo. Um... Still not a particularly difficult fight. In fact, if anything, it's easier because he has less health. We and we've unlocked the primal bonfire. We would do. See you later, guys. Thank you, my ghosts. Appreciate that. Of course, we unlock goodies. And got to check this chest. Be kind of mean if they put a mimic here. Sublime bone dust. Hooray! We haven't had any for a while. Or have we? And I just forgot to burn it. I should probably check that. And here we go. Let me guess. Illusionary wall? Which there isn't, obviously. Primal bonfire has been lit. Now we can... A primal bonfire was rekindled. Hooray! Now we leave. Whoosh. And that's it for this set. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed the set. And next time, we will be heading... Hmm, where are we going to be heading? Oh, I know where we're heading. That away. Dead ahead. There's something else we've missed. I'll not miss, but there's another section to go, so I hope you all join me then. So, until next time, bye-bye.